Welcome back to Front Page. Well, after years of promises, theoretical papers and lab demos, Google has just crossed one of the most important milestones in computing history. The company has officially achieved the first ever verifiable quantum advantage running its quantum echoes algorithm 13,000 times faster than the world's most powerful classical supercomputers. Let that sink in. Well, this isn't just another quantum supremacy claim. It's a repeatable benchmarked result that can be verified independently by another quantum computer, a line the field has never crossed before. The breakthrough actually happened on Google's Velo chip, a 105 qubit superconducting processor engineered for ultra low error rates and high speed operations. Here's how actually the algorithm works. A precisely crafted signal is actually sent into the quantum system. One qubit is perturbed. The signal is reversed. And then an amplified echo is measured. The four-step process, which is forward operation, perturbation, backward operation and measurement, reveals how information spreads across the chip with a level of sensitivity unreachable by classical machines. This echo isn't just a signal. It's proof that quantum systems can now be measured and repeated with precision and not just speed. The Willow chip's engineering is as critical as the algorithm itself. Across its 105 qubits, Willow achieves 99.97% single qubit fidelity, 99.88% entangling gate fidelity, and 99.5% readout accuracy, all at nanosecond speeds. This isn't just a prototype sitting in a physics lab. It's a precision computing platform designed to support algorithms that are both complex and verifiable. A key step toward fault tolerant quantum computing. Google says this milestone aligns with its roadmap to milestone three, the creation of a long lived logical qubit, a prerequisite for practical error corrected quantum systems. This is where the story actually gets even more significant. To validate the results, Google ran quantum echoes in partnership with UC Berkeley, modeling two molecules, one with 15 atoms, another with 28. The quantum outputs matched nuclear magnetic resonance, NMR data, which is actually the gold standard for molecular structure analysis. But more importantly, they actually revealed additional structural information that NMR alone couldn't detect. This is why Google is calling quantum echoes a quantum scope, a scientific instrument that actually, like the telescope and the microscope, allows us to observe what was previously invisible. Drug discovery, material science, chemistry. This isn't just a distant future use case. It's the beginning of quantum computing as a tool, not just a headline. Our Willow chip has achieved the first ever verifiable quantum advantage. Willow ran the algorithm, quantum echoes, 13,000 times faster than the best classical algorithm on one of the world's fastest supercomputers. This breakthrough is a significant step toward the first real-world application of quantum computing. And we're excited to see where it leads." End quote. This was said by Sundar Pichai. This isn't just a scientific milestone. It's actually a strategic one. Quantum verifiability changes the equation from, well, we think it's faster to we know it's right. And that's the foundation needed to commercialize quantum computing. Just months ago, China's Zuko Zing 3, excuse the pronunciation, I have tried, practiced, I hope I got it right. The chip stunned the world with record-breaking speeds, performing a task that would actually have taken classical machines 6.4 billion years. But China's results, while spectacular, lack one thing, verifiability. Google has now delivered that missing piece. And in a race that isn't just about raw power, but trust, reproducibility and usability. This may be the most important move yet. We have covered this very extensively on front page. Please make sure to check it out if you haven't already. Coming back to Google, 
Well, Google's 2019 quantum supremacy claim was about speed. 2025 is about certainty. Quantum Echoes marks the first time a quantum computer has actually produced a result faster than any classical supercomputer and, most importantly, proved it. The gap between theoretical quantum and real-world quantum has just narrowed dramatically. The telescope showed us the stars. The microscope showed us cells. The quantum scope may show us the inner structure of reality itself. And this time, you know what? It can prove it. Please do let us know what you think in the comments below.